Back here in eastern North Carolina, one local runner is helping to raise money for a homeless shelter in Greenville. Since the start of the month, he set out to run the length of a marathon each day until May 30th. None on your side, Sarah Graybar caught up with him in his final days of fundraising. 22 year old Lucas Autry told me 30 marathons in 30 days started like most endeavors in life with one step. Since the start of May, each day begins nearly the same for Lucas. Lace up the shoes and just go. I saw this, this British guy run 48 marathons in 30 days. And I was like, well, if he can do 48, I can definitely do 30. So far, he's run over 700 miles. I'll usually get up anywhere between like 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. to start, just depending on how my body's feeling that day and try and clock in at least 13 miles before work. Lucas works at Fleet Feed, where he helps others on their running journeys. If I don't get finished with the marathon before work, I'll go finish the marathon after work. It's for a cause greater than himself. So we're raising money for Community Crossroads, which is the, uh, is the only homeless shelter in Greenville, and they're always understaffed and underfunded. Lucas says these marathons have taught him more than how to be a better runner but how to be a better person. I learned a lot about humility and also about just not making the simple thing so hard to do. I think that's something that we all do way too often. He says he's grateful for the support of God and his coworkers. And when all is said and done. How are you gonna feel when it's all done? Probably bored. Yeah, I'm gonna have like five hours of my schedule to fill up because I'm used to, <laughs> used to running for five hours a day now, so. Community Crossroads has expressed support on social media for the fundraiser, saying they are thrilled with Lucas's challenge. For those interested, Fleet Feet is selling these t-shirts in their store. You can also donate in person or online. The money will go to Community Crossroad. For all that information, we'll have it on our website, WNCT.com. In Greenville, Sarah Graybar, 9 on your side.